Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the November Whiff Box from Scentsy to unbox with you guys. Now this one is the largest size of Whiff Box once again. So I'm, I'm, okay. <laughs> uh, let me just start off by saying that I'm pretty sure I know what's in this box because I've seen some of the US boxes but haven't seen any Australian boxes so it might actually be completely different to what I was expecting. Oh my goodness, okay, and it actually is completely different to what I was expecting. Are you kidding me? Holiday Fresh? Okay, this was not in the US box. What is going on? Oh my goodness, Holiday Fresh is the theme. I love that so much. Oh my goodness, what on earth is going on? I love this. I love this so much. Wait, is this supposed to be like wrapping paper? And then there's a couple of little, uh, what are they called? Little gift tag thingamabobbers. They say to and from on there. Oh my golly gracious. Okay, I'm gonna have, probably have to read this for a second. Minty fresh fragrances. Ooh. And a reindeer Biddy Buddy. Are you kidding me? Scented in silver bells. And since Biddy Buddies and Scentsy products in general make such great gifts, you'll also find a sheet of wrapping paper to get you started on holiday gifting. Okay, I absolutely adore this. This is. Okay, well, I am so much more excited now that I am seeing this. Holy majoli, we have gotten a Biddy Buddy. That is amazing. So we got one in the, I think it was the September uh, with box. The bad thing about these big size boxes is that the lid will not stay open for me. That is so annoying. But anyway, yeah, so we got the jack-o'-lantern bitty buddy in the, I, yeah, I think it was the September with box. Oh my goodness, look at it. They're always so squished into their little boxes, but oh my gosh, that is the actual cutest thing that I've seen. I've Ever, sorry, ever, ever, ever seen in my entire life. And it's so soft. Ooh. And oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's so minty. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. That smells so good. <laughs> wow, I'm getting so excited for Christmas now. That's crazy. Okay, so, uh, wait, hang on. Oh, I'm getting overwhelmed. There's, there's a lot to go. Oh my gosh, and there's, uh... There's a sample. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so polar bear hug scent circle. That's amazing. I love adding extra scent circles to my collection. And when my friends and family come over, they can just go ahead and take one because I'm not going to go through them all. Let's be real here. So, oh wow. That is a stunning color. This one is called Twilight Frost. I'll go ahead and give this one a little bit of a sniff. Okay. Very, very earthy, very woodsy. Uh, not a scent that I'm particularly into, but not to worry. Okay, now let's go ahead and, oh, okay, so Silver Bells. This is the same scent as the Biddy Buddy is in, so I should really like this one. And, oh, okay, that's a very interesting color. It's almost, like, transparent. That's a very interesting indeed. But let's go ahead and peel back this weird foil stuff and give it a little bit of a sniff. Oh, my God, that is absolutely amazing. That is going to go in my pile of Christmas wax melts to actually go ahead and use over the next couple of months. That's absolutely amazing. And then we have Black Forest Pine, which I'm assuming will be the scent of the month for next month. I'm actually not sure because they never really stick to, like, a specific, I don't know, I guess, timing schedule or whatever for whatever the next scent of the month is going to be, etc., etc., I'm pretty certain I'm not going to like this one, but I will give it a go. It's got like a really, really deep army green kind of color to it. Okay, that is very, very strong. Not a scent that I'm into. Oh my goodness, I'm like, wow, that was very strong. <laughs> but that's absolutely fine. And then we've also gotten another counter clean to go to my collection in my cupboard downstairs of counter cleans. This one is evergreen and grapefruit. Alrighty, so I'm just going to give that a little bit of a shake. So... Evergreen and grapefruit, does it say what the scent notes are? Not specifically, that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and, oh no, oh no, that sucks. I'm just going to have to take this off here. Give me a second. What on earth? Would you look at that? It's only like half peeling off. Well, that's not focusing. Ah, I'm just going to have to pierce a little hole in the film. All right, okay, so I am not actually the biggest fan of the scent of that, that's okay. Maybe it'll smell better once I actually spray it onto the counters. At the moment, we're still using our Squeeze the Day counter clean. So that's all right. We won't actually be using that one for a little while just yet. But oh my goodness, you guys, this box actually really, really surprised me. I was not expecting a Biddy Buddy. And I mean, I'm really obsessed with this Silver Bells fragrance. 
I'm super surprised that it is holiday themed. I mean, I did kind of sort of have a suspicion that it might have been holiday themed based on the September box being sort of Halloween themed. But based on the boxes, well, sorry, the unboxing of the whiff boxes that I saw from my US friends that do the whiff boxes on their channels, I was really honestly expecting it to be more sort of like winter themed even though summer is coming up in Australia, so I don't know. I'm just editing right now and I've actually realized that we got the same counter clean as the US box, but in terms of fragrances, I think only the Polar Bear Hug fragrance was the same. We didn't get the same item though. I believe they got a wax bar and quite clearly we got the scent circle. And the US box also included a fragrance flower in the Joy and Wonder scent, whereas we got a Biddy Buddy. And quite honestly, I am much more happy with the Biddy Buddy. But anyway, back to the video. I guess maybe I shouldn't have expected for the box to be too similar to the US box. But regardless, let me go ahead and count up the value of everything and let you guys know if we got what we paid for and all that kind of good stuff. So the Biddy Buddies, I'm fairly certain, are $20. And then I think the scent circles are maybe 5 The counter clean is 17 And then the wax bars are each worth $10. So 50 $62 in total, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm fairly certain that I pay 56 somewhere thereabouts for the box plus shipping. Okay, I just checked and it's $55.90 that I pay for the box. So that is pretty good. Almost a $10 of extra value worth of stuff so basically like an entire wax bar but that is just i'm i'm so blown away like just the colors of this box as well like how like perfectly color coded it is even the little container for the bitty buddy is really corresponding with the rest of the colors for this box and even the little uh what's it called the little booklet that came with the box i'm just i'm blown away i really truly am blown away now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the camera back into the position that it was before, but that is okay. It's not the end of the world. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you thought about this month's box. And if the, if you have a favorite item from out of this box, let me know. I think for me, honestly, it's going to be the Biddy Buddy. It is the cutest little thing. I'm definitely going to be placing this little guy up on my shelf for the background of my videos. And if you guys are looking forward to more Whiff Box unboxings from me in the very near future, just go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I do upload a brand new video. And you guys, if you enjoyed today's video in particular, I do encourage you to go ahead and click the like button because that really does help me out and let me know what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time, bye bye!